This is a captivating time-lapse video showcasing the remarkable transformation of severe dental transpositions in stunning 4K resolution. It chronicles a rare and intriguing problem that required three years of treatment to resolve. The transposition of the maxillary canines was not the only issue. There was also an alteration in the eruption path of the premolars and a delay in their development. Amongst the affected teeth, the maxillary right first premolar experienced the greatest impact as it was pushed by the canine into its root. Additionally, the left first premolar displayed significant developmental delay, assuming the position meant for the canine. If you appreciate this type of content, we kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel. The treatment process commenced in May 2015 with the bonding of braces on the right side and the placement of Niti open coil springs to create space. In July, a surgical procedure exposed the canine and a power chain was subsequently applied to facilitate the canine's movement after generating sufficient space. Please note the direction of the traction. The canine and the premolar were gradually separated. Later, the canine was repositioned towards the occlusal plane. By July 2016, the canine had been engaged in the main arch wire. Over the course of the following year, by July 2017, the alignment of the right canine was successfully achieved, signaling the time for bonding all the braces. To address any remaining gaps, power chains were used. In August 2018, the braces were removed, fixed retainers were placed, and some composite buildups were made to prevent excessive eruption of the canine. In the frontal view, you can clearly observe the effective management of the transpositions of both the left and right canines and premolars. These retention records, captured four years after the completion of the treatment, demonstrate the stability of the alignment despite the presence of the transpositions of the canines and premolars. On the OPG taken before and after the treatment, it is evident that the root position of the maxillary right premolar has been successfully overcorrected, and the bone surrounding the transposed teeth appears to be in good condition. 